In May of 1981, I had the opportunity to be Cannot Public Schools. This is in Collingwood, Ontario. Um, the school's first student mayor. Collingwood had launched a student mayor program and uh, I was very fortunate to be nominated and I went into it. Um, it was a good three weeks. I had lots of amazing opportunities during that time. I shadowed the mayor, it was Ron Emo then. Um, some of the councillors, we, Joe Sheffer, John Frudeman. Um, I don't know if John Kirby was a councillor then or not. That might've been a few years after. Anyways, he, John Kirby put my name forward for that. He was our gym teacher at Connaught and Health, and I think he taught some other things as well. The coolest thing I did was attend um, all the events associated with the side launch of a ship. Collingwood Shipyards was known for years and years and years. And, you know, you look back now, and it's, it's a pretty cool thing. I mean, yes, you know, I did things like um, tour the... Um, I think I toured, I don't think I toured the dump. I did uh, tour the wastewater treatment plant though. That was, it was a nice tour, but um, yeah, no, this, the ship was a lot more fun. Um, I got to help launch it and it was really cool. This is a copy of the picture that was in the Enterprise Bulletin. Pretty sure that's gone now, isn't it? So this is Audrey in grade eight. Um, I got this cotton dress at the uh, Woolworths, which was right literally in front of where we did the ship launch. It was $27, and I wore this to all my public speaking events. This was my mom's blazer, corduroy. Uh, I did it to public speaking, student mayor, and I also worked to the grade 8 grad. It was a different time then. It wasn't a lot of whatever they do now for the proms. So this lady here, I'm, I've got the original piece from the newspaper as well. Her name is, well, they said Mrs. Robert Anderson because, you know, women didn't have first names then. Anyways, this is the um, the wife of the president and chief executive officer of the Hannah Mining Company, one of the partners in Nipigon Transport Limited, and owner of the ship. So this says this picture was taken prior to the christening and launch yesterday morning. So I have the original newspaper piece that this came out of. It's stuck in my photo album. Sorry, I can't get it out. But because I'm sneaky, I pulled it off as far as I could behind. And it's really funny because it's they're, they're talking about the ship launch on the other side of this clipping. And it says it went off, you know, smoothly and the bottle broke right away. But I remember it didn't because <laughs> she actually threw... <laughs> through the rope and, and, and the bottle went, but it bounced, it kept bouncing. So she had to go and she had to whip it again. So it's just kind of funny. I guess they made it sound, uh, you know, like it went off without a hitch. I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but it was just funny that I'm like, oh, why would they say that? Cause I was there. We went to branch 63, Royal Canadian Legion afterwards for a wonderful meal. We were given a bunch of goodies there. I had a, it was made from LOF glass, a glass like ashtray thing. That I don't have anymore. We were given uh, these publications, and I still have this. Um, it's the history of the yards, and somebody like actually typed this up. I'm gonna say, well, early 80s. It talks about the whole process, all the shops they had at the shipyards. Put up your hand, especially if you're a Connaught school student. You remember hearing the yard, the whistle blow at lunchtime when you see people riding back and forth home on their bikes to go home for lunch, I remember that. So it's just interesting, it's an interesting history. I hope this is probably gonna show up backwards, but it actually details every ship that was ever there. And here's what surprised me, I'm gonna to go to the back, and this didn't include the Lake Wabash, which is the name of the ship that I helped launch. I mean, this one ends in well, this ended in, in 1980, so this was about a year before. And then Lake Wabash wasn't the final one because we went in high school a few times. So I was at the last one, I think. We used to get out from CCI and I guess some of the other schools as well to go watch. But at the time of this, there were 221 ships uh, that had been worked on, repaired, built, whatever, 
from the yards. And I'm just gonna try and go back. It looks like, yeah, the first one cleared in 1902. So it's quite an amazing history. Um, it talks about the workforce. They had a thousand people working like the trades people hands on. And then it says they had 30 in the office, but there's cute diagram, you know, and hear about the details of the side ship launch. I remember when they would launch my brother and some of his friends would run up and grab the trout, the, psh, the fish that would come out of the water when the big splash. It's amazing. We were allowed to go. I think of, you know, people sitting up on top of the wolvers with their legs dangling out. It's pretty incredible that more people didn't get hurt. Um, I don't need this anymore. If there's somebody who uh, is, you know, an avid collector of this, I'm happy to part with it. Uh, the other thing that's cool is I still have the rope. So this is somebody's dad. Chop this off, and it says you have between seven and ten seconds between when the rope's cut and the ship hits the water. So they cut, and I remember seeing it. They ran. So this is uh, this is from the rope that held that ship there. Just kind of cool. Um, I like you know sharing interesting things, and I hope that somebody um, you know who sees this, who has an interest in this, or didn't know. This is all about, this was, this was Collingwood. It was the shipbuilding. And I had friends and family who lived elsewhere and they said, wow, did you ever get to see one of those? I'm like, yeah, I saw, you know, quite a few. And I was lucky enough to be part of one of the launch. So um, if this means anything to anybody, I mean, I actually, I probably don't need this rope either. But anyway, if somebody knows somebody who could benefit from this or whatever, that's fine. Okay. Until next time.